Polyphemus moth is one of our native giant silkworm moths and has beautiful accentuated eye spots on both wings that have transparent centers where there are no wing scales. This member of the subfamily Saturnini has a wingspan from three and a half to five and a half inches. Adult polyphemus moths have vestigial mouth parts and cannot eat. Variable in color, these moths can be tan, brown, or reddish brown. Males are smaller than females and they have plume-like antennae while females have thready antennae. This is a newly emerged male as evident in its plumose antennae. This moth was found on the stem of a weed early in the morning on August 1st, 2022. Since egg laying will take place shortly, the caterpillars will mature in early to mid-September. Adults can fly from late April through August. Mature caterpillars occur from May onward. Flying at night, they are attracted to lights left on all night. Bats are predators of this and other night flying moths. Introduced parasitic flies and wasps are a detriment to caterpillars of this and other non-target moths. Eggs of the polyphemus are large, slightly flattened and oval, and are white with brown edges, looking like a miniature creme brulee. Eggs are laid on host plants that include maple, birch, dogwood, oaks, and willows. Newly hatched caterpillars are cream with tan heads. They can take five weeks to develop into the final instar, which will then pupate. Middle instars are neon green with raised warts tipped with brown with small black spikes. Final instars are three and a half inches long. Final instar caterpillars have raised brown spots with a single long hair and have a white area that can look like silver as sunlight angles change. Cocoons are oval, generally wrapped with silk inside a leaf of the food plant. Often this cocoon structure falls to the ground in autumn as, the, as leaf fall occurs. Sometimes the structure is secured by silk to a twig where it remains during the winter.